Welcome to the channel, human. Punch the shit out of the subscribe button. A lot of you have seen the Batman and the deleted scene associated with the movie, the Joker Arkham scene where you see Batman interacting with Joker. I thought Barry, the actor who played Joker in the context of the Batman movie, I thought he was okay in the movie. You know, a lot of that just had to do with seeing two Batman villains on screen at the same time. Paul Dano's performance as the Riddler was absolutely jaw-dropping. But then I saw the deleted scene with Joker and Batman. Robert Pattinson and this Barry guy had no chemistry. I did not like his performance as Joker, his acting, his body language, his voice, his laugh. I didn't like none of that shit. And I could barely understand the motherfucker most of the time. That's a problem. You can find somebody better to play the Joker. At this point, it's probably too late to recast, but I've seen better. When it comes to, to actors who have portrayed the Joker on screen, that Barry guy, he's at the bottom of the fucking list. In fact, I have Cameron Monaghan on screen here, the actor that nobody likes to talk about in association with the Joker. He played three different versions of that character, Joker, on Gotham. And each one was different and spectacular in its own right. He got the voice down. He got the laugh down. The mannerisms. The facial expressions. The smile. He killed it in every way. And it just breaks my goddamn heart that humans don't get this man more credit. They're so quick to praise this guy that was in the Batman. Because the Batman is a masterpiece. But it's not because of the dude that plays the Joker. Absolutely fucking not. In fact, Paul Dano, the actor who played the Riddler, is superior as an actor. Just saying. To me, when you play the Joker, you gotta embody that character. That Barry guy, he didn't embody shit. Except make me shake my head. I'm like, this is the best you can do? I'm glad that shit is the deleted scene. Because it would have fucked up the whole momentum of the entire film. It would have fucked it up. It don't belong there. It wasn't good enough to be there. Deleted scene, cool, special features on a Blu-ray 4K. I'm glad I saw it, but now that I've seen it, and I've seen all the other Jokers, that ain't good enough. The best thing that he, uh, this new Joker has is his look. His appearance looks just, I love it. It looks amazing. Looks like he fell into a batch of chemicals. Congratulations on the appearance, because you ain't got nothing else going for you. This man I got on screen here... That held it down in Gotham, playing three different interpretations of the most iconic comic book villain of all time. Joker, Cameron Monaghan, is a lot better than that Barry guy. That shit is not up for debate, especially for the individuals that have seen Gotham. And if some human tells you otherwise, that motherfucker is capping. It's capping because it's new. For me, I don't do no capping. I do honesty. I do fairness. Sometimes in life, somebody does a better job. And Cameron Monaghan, he's one of the best actors I've seen as the Joker, even though he was on a TV show. It's not about whether you're in a TV show or a movie. It's about your acting chops and your performance. And Cameron Monaghan, he killed it as Joker. And he's a lot better than this dude that's playing him in this whole the Batman universe. If we gonna see this dude again, this Barry guy... He better work on his fucking acting because that shit was not good enough. Cameron Monaghan, shout out to you for being great. Three different versions of the Joker and that shit is low key because humans don't give you the credit that you deserve. They want to talk about this new motherfucker. Nah, you better than him. Terrence out.